Hi everyone, it's Molly here and I'm going to be back with a video. I put on my Instagram yesterday if you guys either want to see a makeup challenge or a tutorial and the makeup challenge won by quite a bit so I'm going to be doing that today. It's my first one on YouTube and ever really so I'm quite excited for it. So the one I have chosen, it's actually been requested before and it is doing my makeup in alphabetical order. I've seen this been done before and I just, just don't know how it's going to turn out really because obviously everyone has our usual order that we do our makeup in. Mine would be like my eye base, eyeshadow, well depending on the look, I could do foundation first then my eyes but if it's a big look I would do eyes first then foundation, concealer, contour, powder, bronze blush, highlight, you know your lashes and lips last and your priming first obviously and then your setting spray last. But if it's in alphabetical order, that's all out the window. Well, I wrote down a list. This is all of my steps in alphabetical order. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Um, if there's ones that I realise along the way that I've missed out, then I'll quickly shove them in. But yeah, I'm quite excited and nervous to see how it turns out. I actually am going to try as well. I'm not just going to like shove it on. Like I'm generally, I'm going to try and make it look good. So I put on some moisturiser because I know it technically should be included, but my skin's really dry, so I needed to put it on first because it's just going to get destroyed. And anyway, there's still like a priming stage in it anyway, so we're going to go with that. So the first step, sorry, I'm squinting because my the sun is out, but like it's not completely out, so I don't know why I put my blind down or not. I put my blind down a little bit just so it's a bit easier for me to look out. So as I said before, it's blush that is my first one. And obviously I just use powder blushes. I don't have cream ones because if I put a powder one on, when I put foundation on, it's just gonna go. But I think I've got an idea of how this is gonna work. It's gonna look ridiculous to start off with, but I can assure you I've, I'm hoping it works. So basically I've got these red lipsticks. I'm just gonna pop it on my cheeks so then maybe when the foundation goes on it'll maybe come through a little bit. I'm gonna use one that I don't use which is this Kiko one. I'm gonna use this like old, oh, <laughs> a bit dirty, um, this old bronzing brush and just kind of like buff out with that. Here we go. Okay, um, <laughs> probably blowing too much now as well. I really need to invest in some cream blushers because they do look so nice and I just don't have any. It actually doesn't look too bad. I'm going to put a tiny bit more on this cheek here. To be fair, this is literally how I look after I go for a run. So, <laughs> um, so I just used what was left over my brush to go over my nose a bit, even though that'll probably disappear. And the next step is bronze. So. Obviously again, I use powders for that, but then I also use my contour stick. So obviously since this is a cream one, I'm gonna go in with this first. And cause even though like I've got a contour stage and I've got a bronze stage, so I'm gonna use powder for the contour stage. So this is technically a bronze, which bronze is only meant to be light. Um, definitely not with this, but we're basically just swapping it around. So here goes nothing. Tan looks like when I first put it on. The next stage is concealer, and it's really giving me the fear because foundation last, so it means I can't put concealer on top of or anything. The foundation, oh, right. I have got the Revolution concealer. Just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it, you know. I look an absolute state. Why am I doing this? I wouldn't normally put this much under my eyes, but I can't do it after the foundation. So that's why I'm really trying to clear these under eye bags because that's the only chance I'm going to get. And I'm just going to use this MAC concealer just to get slightly a bit more yellow tones going about here, um, just so it's not as white. 
So that's my concealer blend today. I mean, it's definitely taken down the harshness of the bronze, well, the bloody contour. You can still see my blush a wee bit. It's just so like far down my face, but it is still like on the apples of my cheeks, I guess. Obviously I've got nothing on the lids of my eyes either. So that's why it looks quite weird right now. And I don't know why I'm trying to justify this because obviously this isn't the way I do my makeup. So if it looks shit, it's meant to, but it's not. <laughs> so next is contour. And this is obviously with powder. So I, oh, I get it. I was about to say, normally I would do that with my contour stick, but I've just done that, so that was the bronze. Okay. I'm gonna use the medium doll beauty here. At least though it's sticking to the concealer and the bronzing powder because this would just not be coming up if it was on my skin. Oh, oh. oh my God, that was a way to fall off my knee. I'm just going, <laughs> I don't want to see the face I just made. I actually am going to take some of my MAC bronzer, you know, because I'm just trying to use as much as possible so there's a chance of it coming through with the foundation. Okay, this is extreme, but oh, no, shit. That's just what we're gonna have to do, you know? Next step is eye base. So this is a nice and easy one. It is just my P. Louise base that we are gonna be using. And I know how to do that, I can't mess that up. Next is eyeshadow. And I'm gonna be doing a look from the uh, Love TT palette. I don't actually think I've used it on YouTube. And, oh, just look at it. I'm gonna be doing a uh, like spotlight eye and I'm gonna be using the really nice pinks and purples here. I'm really nervous because I normally would do this before my like foundation or anything, but if there's any fallout, I can't go back. Or I might go back, but I can't like properly fix it. Oh god. I'm basically for the middle gonna take the really pretty purpley one here. It's like the only one that's almost like flakes of like whatever it is, you know. <laughs> and I basically just use like what's left on the brush to kind of like swoosh it up on the very top because I don't want that to be like super bright. But and I've just kind of like dragged it under my brow bone as well, so it's more like sped up along the top. And then I'm taking the pinky shimmery one, just really slightly putting it under my brow bone here. Make that all look pretty. It's so basically it's just one big like shimmer. So I just finished off by putting on some of that nice pink shimmer, just right in the center, just to make it like pop a wee bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera. I have done my eyes. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love them. And I am just sad that it's gonna be ruined by this base. So yes, we've just gone all out, nice and grungy and sparkly. And next is foundation. The foundations I've been loving lately is a mix of the Rimmel London and the Kryolan. Now it's kind of like a weird combination because this one is so full coverage and pretty like oily, so you don't need a lot. And this one, I personally wouldn't say is full coverage at all. It does say full coverage on it, but I personally never like the Rimmel foundation because I just think they're, even though they're really nice and affordable, I just think for a full face just using one of these, like, it just doesn't sit right with me on my face. But pardon me, the mix of them is actually really, really nice. So I'm gonna go with that. And I'm hoping that by using this, it doesn't just wipe away everything underneath. So I'm literally gonna do the tiniest amount. I think this is gonna be the lightest coverage of foundation I've ever done. <laughs> it's already kind of cool. It's not bad. It's not the worst, but my skin just feels disgusting. Like, look at that. You can still see bits from underneath. It just doesn't, you know. You can definitely see though, like, I'm bronzed on my head. Like, it's just my cheekbones have all gone. 
and next is highlight I think and I've just checked after that is also lashes so I'm going to glue the lashes and then do my highlight just so the glue can dry so the highlight I'm going to be using is my usual Il Masca recently I have been loving using a more thicker brush I used to use this brush for my highlight but then I didn't like it because it just puffed out and it was too big so I like to use the little one but when you get the little one it makes it nice and precise but then sometimes I think it just gives a strip of highlight so I like using this one to start with and just really gently just brush it along the cheekbones um, just so it kind of covers a nice wide area and then I go back with the little one just to kind of give it a little boost like that excuse me literally just realizing I'm not even powdered my face it feels disgusting and you can see just look at that like I have my order for a reason and a little close-up as to what I look like right now yeah the highlights on but that's also grease basically not really grease but you know what i mean so my lashes are on they look nice and next is liner and i don't know how i'm gonna do liner with my lashes on top so i'm gonna try and give this a go she was nice big lashes as well which is great so next is lip liner And I'm gonna be using taupe. Don't worry, I'm gonna be blending this. Um, I kind of look like a vampire. Hmm. Gonna lighten it up with some of Bald Out. Okay, I realize I forgot lip gloss. I kind of need some lip gloss right now, so I'm just gonna shove that on because we're looking still a bit dark, but it's okay. Next we have mascara, so I'm just gonna shove that on. I've just realized I made a list before of my usual <laughs> makeup routines so then I could put it into, make into order and I've literally missed out brows. I think it was supposed to be after bronze because I classed it as brows, so. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Literally, all I was gonna do anyway was using my Pierce soap. I'm obsessed with it right now. Nice, nice and fluffy. Next, we have powder, so I can finally powder. And then we have priming and setting spray. So also usually to prime I would use my strobe cream, but I'm kind of going to cheat on this one, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be using my Fix Plus because it actually is a prep and prime spray. Oof. And then literally just use the setting spray after that, which is my Urban Decay All Nighter. I've not had this in so long, literally years I've not had it for, and now that I've got it again, I'm so excited. Honestly the best, oh, in my best setting spray I've ever had. And actually, I got it from ASOS in a packet of two for like £36 or something for two of them. I think it was just a Christmas thing or something, I'm not sure, but I would check that out because I got one for me and one for my sister and it's perfect for £36 for two, because I'm pretty sure it's like 25 for one. So that is this look done. Um, we can definitely see a nice colour difference from my face and my neck. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I have had a lot of fun making it, so it's different from a tutorial and I think it's fun because I'm still doing makeup. I really like these eyes and I'm just annoyed that it's ruined by this face. So, I mean, I just look really dark. And those foundations actually do match my skin as well. So, yes, thank you for watching and bye.